Hello, rodeo clowns out there. You know, the people that believe wackos like... Say it ain't so, Joe! You know, the wacko YouTubers who get pleasure and joy out of attacking family members of murder victims. In this case, they're attacking the family members of Liberty German, one of the two girls that was murdered by a whack job killer back in 2017 on February 13th. Yes, this YouTuber who befriends himself with other really crazy YouTubers. I mean, amazing <laughs> some of the people he mentions in his shows. Unbelievable. <laughs> yes, everybody, in the latest video, the rodeo clown quotes Sean Harmon as being a bastion of good information. Uh, that's classic for this YouTuber. That's exactly the type of information he gets and believes in. All right, so what he's claiming is that I'm irresponsible in the Delphi case because I'm friends with uh, Libby's uh, sister, Kelsey and Becky, all right? And I am friendly with Mike. I've talked to Mike maybe five, six times, and I've talked to... Kelsey and Becky num numerous times. I mean, too many to count. I've talked to them. I know them. That's why I don't have any fear at all that they're part of the case. You know, early on, um, Mike is somebody that people thought about, you know, stepfather and all that stuff like that. But I've talked to him and I've seen the emotions, you know, off screen, off camera. I've seen it. I've seen how he interacts with the police officers and I don't have any fear at all that he is part of, is part of the case whatsoever. Now, you can have wacky YouTubers out there talking about how a uh, book was slid off of a bed or a, a grainy picture of some guy that has the same sort of hairstyle as Mike and claim it's Mike at the Florifier and put up images of uh, all these other things to try to make correlations that just do not exist, okay? They do not exist. He's making claims that these things exist. He's saying that I'm unethical merely because I'm friends with them and now I'm biased so I don't look at all those things. That's not what it is. The things that they're looking at are ludicrous. They're absolutely ludicrous things that they're looking at. But here is what is unethical. It's unethical to make a video on YouTube making claims in a real true crime case that you are not substantiating at all with any evidence at all. For example, in this video, he claimed that Kelsey and Bree created a fake account and played games with Libby on social media, okay? As they, like they catfished her. That's what he claims. No evidence whatsoever. And then he claims that Libby and Abby sent nude photos for money. You know, get it? The, you know, does everybody understand what they're doing here? See, in the 194-page document, I think it's 194 pages, there's a money account mentioned. But there's also another one, a car account mentioned. That's because those are the pictures on the front. The money had nothing to do with transferring money. There was no money exchanged for these uh, nude images if there were nude, nude images sent. You know, we can assume that maybe nude images were sent, but we don't know if they were just selfies or not. On the show the other night, I said they could just be selfies that they sent. Of course, one of his viewers said, Grace said they were selfies. Well, I never said anything like that. I said, they could be. We don't know yet because we haven't seen the evidence. See, that's what the problem is with making claims. When you just claim something with no proof, you don't know. Law enforcement did say that photos were exchanged. What that means, we don't know right now. You might be able to infer that they were nudes because that's what Keegan Klein behind the Anthony Schatz account would try to get, and maybe even Tony Klein behind the account. That hasn't been proven yet. That's something that law enforcement has been looking at and appears to believe that he has something to do with the information behind the account. And then he went on to talk about how Kelsey mentioned on my show that Libby's account was hacked on Twitter. And I think we all remember seeing those weird tweets that were out there. Okay, now he's claiming that Bree is the one who hacked into the account. Okay, that, that's what he's claiming with no evidence at all. During this last video he put out there, 
He didn't put one shred of proof on the screen, but he knows that the people that watch his channel, they don't care if there's proof at all. They just want to hear what they want. So as long as he's saying stuff that they all believe in without any proof at all, uh, it's going to be okay. My, my channel has a way higher standard than that. If I just started claiming stuff to be true without showing anything, my viewers would go, oh, come on, Gray, you got to show, you got to show it. I, I'd be, uh, it's just, you know, you can have a theory and say this is what I believe and so forth, but it's irresponsible to put something out that is so flimsy like, like these claims and state them almost as if they're facts with no evidence at all. Okay, you are just trying to hurt the family of a murder victim. Okay, now you say you care about Libby. She's probably looking down on you thinking, God, what a pile of crap. Okay, a pile of crap. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you all for being here. And please don't be rodeo clowns out there. It's quite disturbing. All right, so tonight I might be doing a show. We'll go over the Delphi case again in the factual manner. And uh, people that want to call in can call in and talk about any theory that they want. Even these crazy theories that uh, Say It Ain't So Joe talks about on his channel. Okay, you can call in. But usually the gutless wonders never make those phone calls. It's absolutely incredible. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for listening to this short video. And please be more ethical out there. Thank you very much. And until next time. Be safe out there.